Hi there, Gulf Fanatics. Andrew Rice out here at the Western Savannah Harbor Resort, and today I'm going to share some information to help you start flushing those fairway woods and hybrids. So here we are, we're in the middle of the 13th fairway at the Western Savannah, a lovely par five, but it's quite long and we definitely need to hit some kind of a fairway or hybrid. I know that for many of you out there, these clubs prove to be a challenge and the reason they can challenge you more than you would prefer is because of the quality of strike. And far too often, I see golfers striking their fairways and hybrids low on the club face. And the reason for that is, well, it's a long club with a big head and the ball sitting on the ground. That makes it a challenge to get the club low enough so we can start to move the ball up the club face where we can get that full extent of that face flex. We really are going to start to get some ball speed and get that ball out there. How can we start to get the ball up the face? Perhaps you might even be topping the ball. You're hitting it really low on the face or just those low burners that look okay, but they don't really go as far as you know they should go and I know they should go. So what can we start to do? Here's what I'm going to propose. When you set up to make these swings, and certainly in your practice you can do this as well, I'm going to show you a great little drill uh, that can help you with this, is I think far too often, for far too long actually, we've gone with the mindset of let's sweep the golf ball when it comes to fairways and hybrids, and I think we need to get rid of that. I would much prefer to see us hit down slightly, but here's one condition that I need from you. I don't want anybody out there trying to hit down. We need to move our body, we need to shift our pressure, our weight in such a fashion that's going to facilitate that. I don't want anybody standing over the golf ball going, okay, Andrew said no more sweeping, I've got to hit down because I know what's going to happen. I think you know what's going to happen. You're going to stick that club in the ground, it's not going to be pretty. So what can we do? What's a good little exercise to start getting the club to reach the ground? If the club reaches the ground, I know the ball's going to start to move up the face. Okay, how are we going to do that? Here we go. We get ourselves set up, okay, and just for the record, I'm sorry I'm being long-winded with this, but trust me, we're going to get there, okay. Uh, ball position, let's just touch on ball position first. There's three ball positions in my estimation. We've got seven iron and shorter in the center of the stance. We've got long irons, fairways and hybrids, forward of center, and we've got the driver. Okay, so just to clarify that, the ball is a little bit forward of center for this situation. Um, and when I set up, obviously I'm going to rest the club on the ground a little forward of center, but now this is what I'm going to look for. I want to make sure, not necessarily take a divot like I just did there, but for the interest of demonstration, I'm making sure that my club is contacting the ground forward in front of where I set up to the ground. And so, were I to put that club behind the ball and make that same swing, I'm going to actually contact the ground after impact. What does that mean? That means that my club head, by the time it gets to the ball, is traveling slightly down. And that's going to facilitate moving that ball up the face. Our goal, let's move the ball up the face, we're going to get the ball up in the air, it's going to go much, much further. So from face on, quick little demonstration once again, I set up there, watch where I brush the ground. Not very good there, Andrew. That's better. There we go, and hopefully you can see that little piece of grass standing up there. That's what we're after. If we can do that, we're going to start to strike the ball better. What's causing that? I'll tell you what, if you've just got the, the intent, the objective of getting the club to contact the ground forward of where it starts, look at where my body is. Notice how my weight is forward. My handle is certainly not back. I'm not hanging back to try to lift the ball up in the air, which I see a lot of you do. 
uh, I'm getting forward, I'm getting the club down to the ground, and I can start to flush these hybrids and fairways. And I will say this, you can see I've got a hybrid in my hand. Fairways are exactly the same. Fairways are exactly the same. Let's give this a go. So get your practice swing in, Andrew, where you brush the ground. There, just like that. Now let's try it. Oh, that was nice. Straight over my target, that 150 pole up there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that was a nice flush one. Here's the deal. Let's start to understand the concept. Let's start to, with those practice swings and that concept, let's start to move towards better strikes with fairways and hybrids. You won't be demoralized. You'll save strokes. You'll lower your score. Have some more fun. I hope that helps. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll respond to as many as I can.